it's not that God had a wife, but that the gods before God had a mother, and her name was Ashira or Asherah. And she's one of the major players in the Baal cycle, a Canaanite text that the Bible gets a lot of its source material from. I mean, you could call Isaiah a prophet, but really he was just somebody who knew his literature. Well, let's get into it. So in the Baal cycle, Ashira has two epithets, Lady of the Sea and Mother of the Gods. And because she's called the Lady of the Sea, a lot of scholars like to consider her the consort of Yam, because Yam is the god personification of the sea and the waters. But in reality, it's not that clear whose consort she is. But it is clear that she's the mother of the gods, while Il is the creator or father of men. Yam, as the god of the sea, is a representation of chaos. And Baal, or Baal Haddad, son of Dagon, who is depicted as an absolute demon in the Bible, is pretty much a Canaanite Zeus. Thunder god, rider of the clouds, lord of the earth. He represents crop and vegetation. You've probably heard of him referred to as Bilzebub which is actually a slur on Baal Zibil, the etymological root of which Western scholars are so confused about and Eastern scholars connect with the word, the Semitic word, Zibil, fertilizer. Baal Zibil, Lord of Fertilizer. Anyway, the Baal cycle is long and it goes off in so many different directions. But the overarching story is that Yam, chaos, is taking over the world and Il, the god, the highest god, the father of men, is letting it happen. And Ashira becomes worried because he's wreaking havoc on the gods, her children. She pleads and begs and when he won't budge, she offers herself. But Baal refuses to let this happen and he steps in to take it upon himself to destroy Yam. Now this is a really great story with a lot of drama and I can get into it in another video if you want me to. But the biggest takeaway from it is that it symbolizes the triumph of order over chaos. Well, let's go back to Ashira as Yahweh's wife. Disrespectful as I think it is to call the mother of God someone's wife, let alone a God as jealous and insecure as Abraham's. But here is how I think about it. Like all sociopolitical shifts that happen throughout history, the transition from polytheism to monotheism probably didn't happen overnight. People had to grow out of the habit of consulting a pantheon of powers and learn to contend with one almighty power. And that probably happened as a gradual dropping of deities over time. And Ashira, the mother of gods, was probably the hardest to let go of. But here's another cool thing. A lot of people like to associate Ashira with Eve, but actually it's Maryam whose name means of the sea. mar -yam. Mart yam Lady of the sea. Carrier of Monodaddy's baby. 